In the previous video, we looked at default solution. In this video, we look at custom solutions. So as I mentioned in the previous video, it is important to make our customizations in custom solutions. So to create a new custom solution, or to look at your custom solutions of your organization, what you need to do is come to the customizations area of your uh, CRM organization and click on solutions. This is where you will find all your custom solutions in your organization. So it is recommended that if you want to make any new changes, that is any new customizations like adding a new entity adding a fields to some entity or making some changes to the existing entities or processes etc then it is recommended to create a new custom solution and making the changes in that so to create a new custom solution what we need to do is just click on new and then you need to start entering some information So the first thing which we need to do is give a display name for your custom solution. So I'm just going to call it sample solution for demonstration. And then we need to give the version number. So generally the version number looks something like this. There are four numbers which are separated by dots. One represents the major version number. This zero, that is the second zero, represents the minor version number. This zero, that is the second zero, this one, represents the build version number. Okay. And finally, this one represents the release version number just remember this that this one represents major version number minor build and release this will make more sense when we talk about patches okay but just remember that this one is the major this one is the minor build and release okay the next one what we need to do is give a publisher for the solution so we'll be covering about publisher in the next video